I haven't done one of these in a while, so what the heck. I run a little campaign where my party is building a settlement from scratch on an island in the middle of a lake. And near the start of this game, the party unwittingly stole a sheep from a powerful shepherd, and then an enormous killer frog showed up at their camp later and Damn. ate the whole thing. Let's get into the details. One of my party members, Frieza, the tyrannical pharmacist with six raccoons, has a farmstead on her checklist of ambitions. While traveling to the island in a convoy with the other party members, one of whose carts is a big turtle because that's how my campaigns roll, they came across a stray sheep. To be a little more specific, I made a breed of sheep who look like rocks and grow moss and mushrooms instead of wool. They identified the moss sheep, and without hesitation, Frieza grabbed it like Donkey Kong steals Pauline. A short adventure later, having sealed the Cult of Transcendence behind a portal to the Shadowfell, Shoop Dog, now the mascot of the party, lives peacefully in their Minecraft pen. A week passes, and I take a look at my notes and remember that I had some kind of plan with the sheep. Take a walk with me behind the curtain, and I will show you how fluid and nonsensical note-taking for DMs can become. Plan for Session 1. Have a shepherd getting attacked by wyverns. But then they showed up in the woods and 360 no-scoped the wyverns much earlier than I planned. Plan 2. Later in the area, introduce an abusive shepherd that the party can feel justified about stealing from. But then they just showed up and stole the one adventure hook, partied with it, and continued on their path. Plan 3. Screw all of that and combine the sheep thing with a floating idea I had about a Banderhob encounter. Okay, curtain back down. We fade into the evening as our heroes return from hanging out with a ghostly centaur in his tiny empty castle. And their Tanuki friend, who I haven't mentioned yet, tells them there's a guy at camp. The Tanuki also, when asked if he had a name, said, Nah. So, now his name is Nah. Nah takes them to camp, revealing a 12-foot-tall frog built for assassination, powered up with a witch hat and a staff full of eyes. But it can't talk, and it only has minor illusion from the staff, and can kinda write in the dirt with its stick. Half the party immediately wants to attack it, and the only person during the entire situation who wants to hear it out is the goblin paladin folk hero who crawled straight out of a children's book about overcoming differences. They gripe and they argue, some of them try to talk to the frog, and Frieza lies to the frog about everything, but finally the frog catches sight of the sheep, and they hand over the Minecraft mushroom creature. Then in an instant, the Banderhub just swallows it and pats his tummy, which causes the Barbarian to immediately start hugging spears. Everyone proceeds to just beat the Banderhub down while it's holding up its hands and crying like a loser. Thanks to our goblin, Sir Tuckenold, the Banderhub narrowly didn't die. When everyone calms down, knives out and pointed at the Banderhub, it waves the stick around and tells a story. It shows a hag magically creating the Banderhob itself and preparing for a fight before getting ambushed. Real quick, Banderhobs are made from mud and designed to hunt and kill one person before ceasing to exist. But during the ambush, the guy that it's made to kill gets turned into stone and the hag herself dies. So the Banderhob, now without purpose, takes her hat and staff of vision manipulation, hiding itself using invisibility charges, and leaves. It's sort of like a Mr. Meeseeks whose master died, so it just wanders around for years. Then it came across that shitty awful shepherd I had prepared for the party, and it ate him in one fairy tale gulp. Then it just took over his job and started protecting the sheep. And then very recently, it lost track of Shoop Dog, and after a week found its way to the island to rescue that stupid moss sheep which is currently only in its stomach to protect the sheep from the dangers of the party, who are mostly awful people. After a couple half-assed apologies and very high rolls, the party convinces the Banderhob to stay on their island and shepherd all of its sheep, since the island is generally a pretty safe place. And there you have it, the story of how my party stole property and bullied an immortal assassin frog into hanging out at their house, while also conveniently earning access to a valuable, renewable food and medicine source. One note I did make, because I'm using a Banderhob incorrectly according to the lore, is that it isn't a fully living creature, which you're allowed to do. It's my campaign, and the less predictable it is, the better. I set it to like 50 hit points and decided that it cannot regain them ever. I just know that down the line, the party will fight tooth and nail to save... it. Nobody even gave the poor thing a name. I mean, I even have in my notes, it's just it the shepherd. I don't know, all I'm trying to say is it's super fun to use what are otherwise throwaway monsters and enemies. You saved me. Why? 
Oh, monkey. And then when they don't die, have their whole story or friendship be a reward. Kind of like Minthara in Baldur's Gate, or 90% of One Piece characters. That's it, goodbye.